So I have finally installed both of the fans that I had planned on putting on the roof and they look absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and break the fan install down into three separate videos because I had to do like two mini projects and then the actual fan install itself. So yeah, I'm just going to separate them like that. And so part one, which is this, is going to be about how to make a wood frame for your fan. Part two is going to be how I made like a do-it-yourself plastic adapter. And then the third one is going to be the actual install of the fan. So again, since this is part one of three, this is going to be all about the wood frame that I made for the fan. And I went ahead and filmed this as a tutorial, just like literally step-by-step -step process for anyone else who needs help making one of these. And I'm sure there are going to be people like, are you serious? Who needs a tutorial for how to build a wooden square? Like, I get it, dude. I get it. But like me, for one, I'm a member of the I've never built anything in my life and just learned how to operate this tool about five seconds before putting it to use club. And so... Baby steps, my friends, baby steps. They may be absolutely redundant to the vast majority, but for people like me, these videos are very, very beneficial. So here's a timestamp for when the actual tutorial begins, but quickly, I first wanna go over why I actually built a wooden frame for my fan, in case you're either curious or you're thinking of whether you want to do it yourself or should do it yourself for your own fan installation. So here's what they look like from the inside. The plastic adapter I make in the next video and this wooden frame sandwiched the fiberglass roof. The reason for the frame being that, as you can see better here, the fiberglass is just so thin. So as per the instructions, I needed something thicker to mount the actual fan to. So first up, here are the supplies that I used. The plastic frame that came with the fan, an 8 foot 2x2. Two two. You can choose whatever type of wood you like, honestly, but I went with this pine from Home Depot just because it seemed the most durable, stable, and straight out of all their options. A yardstick, tape measure, ruler, or just something to measure with. A drill and the proper bit. I used two because I'm lazy and you'll see what I mean later, but really you only need one. Screws, a pencil, a miter saw, jigsaw, circular saw, hand saw, basically just something to cut through the wood. I chose a miter saw because precision, yo. And then these last two are totally optional. Some clamps which made it a little bit easier and safety glasses. Just as a reference, this is the intended result. Notice how there are four pieces but there are two different sizes. The top and the bottom are the full length of the plastic frame, and the left and the right are shorter. So step one, making the full length top and bottom pieces. Start by measuring the full length of one side of the plastic frame. Mark your measurement, measure that out on your two by two, then draw a line for where you're going to cut. Next, carefully cut along the line that you just drew. This is what you should now have. Step two is going to be to take the piece that you've just made, use it as a template to draw the line for an identical sized piece, and then cut again. Now you should have the top and bottom pieces ready to go. Next, repeat steps one and two, except this time for the two shorter pieces. You're measuring that negative space between your first two cutouts, so the piece won't run the full length of the frame. And just like before, simply measure, mark, and cut. Then, use your newly made template to make your fourth and final piece by establishing a measured line and cutting one more time. So you started out with this plastic frame, and now you should have this. Step three, situate your wood frame on top of the plastic one. Now this is where I chose to use clamps, which is definitely not necessary, but they worked out nicely for me. I went ahead and put one in the middle of each of the sides, and then one on each of the points where two sides meet. Let's all just take a second to appreciate how ridiculously obnoxious this looks. Anyways, once you've got your frame in place, you can move on to step four, which is making this thing one solid piece, AKA inserting screws. This is where I used two drills because I'm lazy. I used one to pilot a hole and then the second to drill the screw in just to avoid having to change bits. I used a total of eight screws, two on each corner of the longer pieces. Here is the final product. So there you have it, there is my how to build a wooden frame for your fan tutorial or low-key just like a wooden square for 
anything? I don't know, but just, just for anyone who's in the same kind of like building spectrum as I am where everything is just like... But yeah, so that was part one, the wooden frame, part two is the plastic adapter, and then part three is going to be the actual fan install. I hope you guys are all doing well, I wish you all the best, and I will see you guys next time.